Hello, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Gonna use leftover paints from yesterday. They're a little warm. Gonna thin them out just a little bit because it's another warm day, but I'm not in the garage. As you may or may not be able to tell, lighting is weird, but then it always looks better afterwards. I am going to go ahead and get these done up. Go ahead and see the last video for exactly what I'm using for my pour, and I will put the recipe into the notes. Okay, we are ready to go. Obviously, when I put water in these to loosen them up a bit, because they were out in the garage overnight, even though they were covered, I kind of do a whole lot about the mix cup that I'm going to be using. Um, remember, whatever you put on the bottom of the cup becomes the cloud. I call it the cloud because it's this cloud that just kind of settles over everything. Oh my. So, yes, here we are. So hopefully I'll make this quick because I'm in the kitchen and people will be arriving home within about half an hour. <laughs> and I kind of don't want them to catch me in the kitchen. Not like I'd be in trouble, but it's like, oh my goodness. Ah. I managed to accomplish many things today, so my reward is to uh, do the rest of this, this remaining remainder of this pour. So here we go. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to try a ribbon through the middle. Uh, these may not be good gloves. When your gloves start peeling like that, you may not want to use them because they'll leave debris. Debris not good. Well, sometimes it doesn't matter, but I think it matters today. Come on. Okay, that was a pair of gloves that turning inside out didn't really work well. As I was saying, <clears throat> the paint at the bottom of the cup is going to be the cloud, which could be interesting because that might be really muddy and murky. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some white onto the into the bottom of the cup. Here, come on. I think I will probably pour all but a tiny scoop, scooch left. And let's go for some, don't want the dark colors to take over. So let's go with gray next. I'm gonna put all the gray in. I'm gonna do a similar ribbon pour to yesterday, which it means I'm gonna lay down the paint. I'm gonna put a ribbon through the middle, maybe a couple of ribbons. Still going for a nice agate effect in theory, if not reality. It is a mystery. So there we go. We've got the light colors on top. I'm going light to dark today. So the dark will be on the bottom, but obviously if I drop it up high, it'll break through and mix in real nice. And here's the turquoise. We all love turquoise. See how that goes. Have a bit of that left. Let's try to get it all rolling, eh? Loving the turquoise. So we're gonna have more than enough for this. Uh, it's a ten incher. No, it's, yeah, ten incher. Ten incher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do a bit through the top, and we're gonna do mostly on the bottom because it'll still see some action and move around the canvas. There we go. Beautiful day here in California. It's probably a Northern California, a bit over 100 degrees, or at least in the high 90s, because on the inside it's about, well, I set it at 78 today. I know some people think I'm crazy, like, oh my god, that's so cold. Other people are like, how can you stand 78? It's so warm. And depending on the day, I feel the same way. Okay, let's see here. Gosh, my wrist is acting up, my thumb is acting up, life is acting up, but it's okay. I'll just electrify my thumb and take some non-opioid <laughs> painkillers afterwards. Okay, again, we're going to wait for the paint to hopefully fall down, get rid of some bubbles. I did not put any um, silicone or any other type of additive into this pour. There was none from yesterday either. So that's why it's going to, I assume, I assume, not going to have a lot of cells and be a relatively semi-boring pour with that really dirty cup leftovers on the top, it could turn into anything from mud to spectacularly uber coolness. We shall see. Okay, so we've got a blue cloud. 
Always fascinating. I'm going to let the paint pour back up into the cup a little bit. Rotate that around a bit. Try to get some ribbony. And my hand's shaking actually because I'm in pain. But that's a whole other story. That means my ribbon will probably be pretty sloppy today. So remember everything in the center here is going to stretch and possibly go away. I'm going to add a couple more little ribbons. God dang thumb. Tell me how you really feel. Holy cow. Okay, let's try some more. It's not my thumb, it's just my wrist because I haven't sat and typed much and I did some typing today. So hopefully there will be good visual interest. And we may need to use some of that for backfilling. Ooh, lots of bubbles. I'm gonna go get my embosser to kill some of those. Okay, that was kind of funny. I pushed the pause button and I had paint and it wanted to turn off. I don't know what that'll look like. So my embosser did fairly well. I had to roll everything away so I could get near an outlet. Did okay though. So let's see, shall we kind of circle it? And try not to run off the edges yet. Shall we try to kind of maintain some semblance of circularness? A circle and a square, which is better than a square and a circle. I don't know. Could be wrong about that. Trying to catch some edges without catching edges. Oops, but not in the catch an edge and fall on your face type thing, so that's never fun. So this is going to be another long video. Sorry, dudes. Dudettes, whatevs. Okay, starting to catch edge. Now we've got a big gappy gap over here that I'm really going to have to fight to keep. So don't want to see what I mean. I've got too much white space over here. Potential for uber coolness. Okay, so now we want to get to the other far corner without going too zigzaggy. Want that paint to move and flow, move and flow. Will I be catching fall off? Probably, because I can't help myself. Rolling, not very effectively rolling. Gotta let some go, let it go, let it go. Okay, don't wanna let too much go because we gotta catch it on the other side. So we got two more, three more corners to deal with or to create with. And see, I was neglectful of the corner. Okay, let's see if we can go over here. I'm doing it on a diagonal. Such beautiful. Come on. Okay, so our ribbons have taken to the top, but it ain't over till it's over. Whoops, got a little drippy drip there. That's most likely going to go away. I'm optimistic and thinking. Mm, a little ziggy zaggy. Interesting how we've got that really gray cell up there at the top. Okay, let me miss all the things. All the things. So now today's playlist is Portugal the Man and then some vintage uh, cure apparently on the radio in the background that you are hopefully not hearing. Okay, I don't really want to backfill that. And I'm not sure if I like those little stripey stripe things or not. Got a corner to roll. I've got a corner to roll. Yeah, that wasn't even close to the tune I was trying to go for. Come on, babies. Come on, take that corner. Go for the corner. I don't want... See, this is where I get impatient and I start rolling and doing silly things that might cause problems. So if I ignore it and just let it fall as it may, maybe I won't 
muck it up. Impatience, impatience. We're getting some nice transparency over there in the corner. It's almost done. Don't roll it. Don't roll it. Ah, shoot. Well, beautiful drippings. I'm not saving them, though. Bummer. Looks like I might lose that little line, huh? Roll. You can roll now, man. You can roll now. It's okay, man. Okay, got the corners. Now I'm going to pull some back. Got drippage all over the place. Look at this beautiful paint. Oh, gosh. Totally bumming my trip, man. Totally bumming my trip. You don't want to lose all that paint. So obviously, yeah, this is definitely 10 inch. The five ounce would not have worked here. Five ounces for a 10 or a 12 by 12, excuse me. So I had, oops, it looks like I've got a, call it a space booger. So let's see, what are we trying to accomplish? Huh, I'm not sure. <laughs> We've got, like I said, I don't have any silicone in any of this, so it's kind of doing its own thing. Any sellage is flat out um, paint pigment based. Hmm, still looking for interest without losing a lot. I kind of like that gray elongated cell action. It's kind of cool. So that's it for that party. It has come, it has gone, I think it's done. I stretched my canvas ahead of time, so we know for sure it's not gonna puddle in the middle and crack. And I got my little pointy things. I got lots of paint, but it's pretty. It's got its thing, it's doing its own thing. I kind of dig it in a way. It's kind of celestial-ish. I feel like there needs to be more movement somehow, and it looks almost too organized. I could be wrong. So there we go. Thank you for dropping by. Um, again, these were the same paints as the last video, and uh, they were all on so Oh, did I fling? <laughs> when I take off my gloves, I fling. Oh, I don't want to fling. I mean, it's a cool fling, but it's still a fling. And any of us who do pouring know it, that that's a fling. Okay, well, there you go. Fling and all. It's as good as it's going to get. And I'm deep for done. And see you next time. Go do something fun. Mess with stuff. And I'm going to try not to drip as I hit stop.